Hey, what's up guys, Kevin here. Today I'm in the circle in Whistler with John and we're gonna run you guys through our favorite accessories. Every year in Whistler, I always end up here at the circle to buy my snowboard accessories. So I just wanted to share with you guys some of our top picks for the season. Take us through a couple of your top picks. Some of my favorites uh, for gloves, my personal favorite is Howl. I've been riding them since day one, but the main reason is just the people behind it. And for me, that's kind of the most important thing. Next, love Salmon Arms too. Um, it's my buddy's company, it's from Vancouver, but he also supports a lot of the homies, especially in the local area. So they have a good representation here. Like a lot of people want to ride it because if you ever met that guy, he's a good guy. Do you have a favorite pair? Uh, I mean, I'm gonna lie for Salmon Arms, I'm gonna go this one just because it's like the homies pro model. We got Brian Bowler, we got Nick Elliott. Good guys, they rip. Dude, I love Salmon Arms as well. They have such funky designs, very unique. But it hits close to home, which is really cool. So back here, I see my favorite goggles and on M4s. What are your, some of your goggle picks for the season? My personal favorite, I love the NFX2s. Reason for it, I basically just love the size. It's the perfect happy medium size. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's also not fully frameless. I like how it has a little bit of the edge, but the biggest thing um, is just like how quick the lenses come off, just like that. And same with the M4s, like having that quick lens change is just unreal. Like when the sun pops out and you just have the low light lens, you can just switch it super quick and then just continue on. Yeah, guys, especially here in Whistler, we get like all different sun and snow conditions throughout the day. So being able to quickly change between the lenses is key for sure. Guys, something that I always pick up every year here from the circle is Stance socks. Got like six pairs. I only wear Stance, I think I have for probably eight years. It's for the same reason, I kind of just like good people behind it, but they're doing cool, fun things and the socks are actually really good. Yeah, maybe show us a pair. Fish, who doesn't like fish? That's some kind of like crazy fish from the, the future. What, what, are they, what do they call it? They call it the Lizard Lou. Lizard Lou sock. Nice. <laughs> Like I ride this one probably 90% of the time. I've been riding the hoods for a long time. A big thing is I kind of like the style of it. I just like the look. But on powder days, I actually swear by the Airhole Merino ones. They're thin, they breathe. The biggest thing about them is being Merino, they don't freeze up around the mouth. So they still get wet, but it's just nice that they're not all, you know, crusty and frozen. It's just, and if they breathe. Yeah, I had that one last year in Japan, so. On those like really powdery cold days, it would just fill up with snow, but... Pow days, they just like, they're caked on with snow. Where yeah. these ones are just like really sleek. And I just find these things like, cause you're kind of sweating a lot on pow days. It's like you run pretty hot when you're with these. So having this just helps you keep the temps down. Yeah, what brand is that one? This is Gnarly, one of my favorite brands actually. This is normally where I pick up my mittens every season. And I think this year I'm gonna go for a pair of the Volcom Gore-Tex mitts. The reason I choose mitts too, I just find that my fingers stay much warmer having them all together. And the fact that you can get Gore-Tex mitts for $69.99 Canadian is a steal. So I'll be picking these guys up for sure. Yeah, also a fan of the Stance socks. And my goggles this year, I got the Anon M4s. And the reason I go M4 is just because my head's a little bit larger. I have a, wear an extra large helmet, so I feel like this extra width and size in the goggle frame just makes seeing everything just that much clearer. And they also come with like a magnetic face mask, which this is pretty cool. Having your face mask magnetized to your goggles just keeps everything in tight and the snow completely out. So yeah, check these out if you've got a larger head. All right guys, so they have tons of stuff here. John has one more thing that he wants to show us. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Into the depths of the circle. Would you say this is one of your favorite accessories or like one of the things that you can't snowboard without? This is probably the best thing I've bought for the cold in my life. 
Like, I just love, I mean, same thing, good people behind it. Like, I feel like Air Blaster just represents snowboarding very well by just, it's fun and they have the most fun. But the Ninja Suit is just like, it's one piece and it zips open at the waist. So going to the washroom is easy if number twos or ones. But I just love that, yeah, by being one piece, there's no snow getting in, no drafts getting in. You don't bend over, you're untucked. It's just the best. And my favorite part is you go riding all day, you come home, take off your gear, and you just like laze around in your ninja suit. Perfect, man. And it doubles as a Halloween costume. <laughs> Cool guys, so those are some of the accessories that we're pretty stoked on for the upcoming season. If you're in Whistler, come see John here at The Circle. They've got lots of cool stuff to check out. Thanks for watching guys. Have fun out there snowboarding. And Thank we'll you. We'll see you in the next one soon. Cool. Cool, thanks man. Yeah, no problem.